Willie John was a very quiet captain. He was a man of few words. Uh, and when he, but when he spoke, you listened. And you always expected more, but there wasn't more. There was less. And so you were left to absorb what he had said. I remember going down to the uh, uh, team meeting held in the captain's room uh, before we went to the stadium. And uh, I arrived there five minutes early, sat down, nobody speaking, not a word. Willie John came in, not a word. Sat there for 10 minutes, not a word. The tension was just unbelievable. And he just stood up and said, right, we're ready. And got on the team coach. He wasn't a scream and shout, he just looked at you in his way and you knew exactly when he was asking you to do something that uh, it was for a good purpose and you delivered. He's still our captain now in, uh, you know, 30 odd years later. I thought the captaincy of Finley Calder uh, created a great impression on me. He was very vocal. Uh, obviously very knowledgeable as well, very passionate about the game, very passionate about the Lions. His presence was a uh, very commanding presence, definitely one of the finest, you know, the finest captain I've had the privilege of playing uh, alongside. Johnson would be captain of a World 15, more than likely. He was, I think he, he was that big, that immense. He didn't say too much, but he didn't need to because of everything he did on the field. He, he wouldn't say anything he wasn't capable of doing um, on the field. He didn't mention scoring tries very often. For obvious reasons. <laughs> I think the important thing about Jono's selection was that first and foremost he had the respect of everybody, both the South Africans and the four home unions, and probably more importantly he was a big guy. So they were going to fetch Teichman into the corridor and stand in front of Johnson. And basically it was a bit of a psychological decision in a sense that we're going to put a big bloke out there whom is going to basically put down a bit of a flag of what we're all about here. People ask me what type of leader he was, and you know, if he asked me to run through that wall there now, you know, you just go and do it because he'd have made it easy, really. There'd be a big hole where he'd already gone through before, and uh, you know, I think that was testament to the guy. Sponsors Rugby Union on Sky Sports.